Science can describe how gravity works, but can they describe why it works? Can we? So this is the how, why yeah. duality here. And allow me to just answer it from a how, why point of view, and then we can apply it to gravity okay. after I say that. Um, in science, if we can describe how something works and predict its future behavior, we claim to understand it and we move on. You can ask deeper questions about it. Why is there gravity? What is the meaning? What is the purpose? And go ahead, but I'm good with what I've done, and I can land a spacecraft on Mars inside of a crater in a hole-in-one using my understanding of gravity, so I'm pretty good with it, okay? So I'm not distracted by the more philosophical side of that. Why does it work? Okay. When you go into space, country borders go away, except yeah. for two places. You can see the border of Israel with surrounding deserts, because Israel irrigates, and so it's green, and the surrounding areas are brown. You can see that from space. Another border is, of course, North and South Korea, right mm, there. Yeah. And if you look at the GDP per capita differences between Israel and surrounding nations and South Korea and North Korea, it's you know factors of eight. 9, 10, 12. Space can reveal economic inequities. There was no year zero. You know why mm. there's no year zero? Because the Romans came up with the calendar and they counted using Roman numerals and Roman numerals don't have a zero. Ooh. It was not yet invented. They didn't have a zero? No! No! So it went from 1 BC to AD 1. Jeez. BC is before Christ, AD is Anno Domini in Latin, the year of our Lord. Wow. Yeah. Now of course in, in, in Islam and in China and in uh, um, in Hebrew cultures, uh, they have access to the Chinese calendar, the Muslim calendar. Muslim, of course, dates to Muhammad. Chinese calendar dates to actually a planetary alignment in 4700 BC. Yeah, they don't, they use a different system. Well, they use right? a different system, that's fine. And the uh, Hebrew calendar dates to like the beginning of the universe as interpreted in the in the Torah. So they have access to those, but when they're conducting international business, we just simply use the Gregorian calendar. Just get over it. When you go to your horoscope and you say, oh, what are you, Scorpio or this, you go straight to the Scorpio and it's written, oh, that's oh, okay, that's gonna happen to me. You should try it differently. Do the following. Get someone else to pick one of those horoscopes at random and read it to you. I've done this experiment. Yeah. I picked one at random, read it to a room of 100 people and I'd say, did I just read your horoscope? 70% of the hands went up. So you realize that they're written in such a way that you can find the meaning that you know and need for yourself because of the way each one of those horoscopes are written. And you lift up the thing things that are most applying to you and you suppress in your mind the things that don't apply and you walk away thinking that they're speaking to you because of what time of year you were born. And we've known about this. It's a psychological effect where we remember the hits and forget the misses. Like you pick up the phone and say, I knew it was you, grandma. Well, how about all the times that you thought it was her and it wasn't? Those don't get remembered as an incident in your life. They get rapidly forgotten. And so you can end up thinking that you're psychic or you have special telepathic powers. We are susceptible to be fooled by our no. own brain, by our own sense of what is real and what is not.